Hello everyone, my name is Samantha. I am with OnTheClock.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the employee punch site on a mobile device through our app. So this is a Android test device, but I'm just going to show you what it would look like if you were an employee and you were logging in on our app. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. You would want to download our app from your Google Play Store or your App Store. It's on the clock, all one word. There is no charge to download. I'm going to go ahead and sign on. That's going to bring me into my employee dashboard. Now the nice thing about the app is I can leave this running in the background and simply just click back in to punch in and out with ease. It's going to say the business name, your employee status, and then it lists your username up here. We can see that I'm currently punched in. So you're going to see a couple panels here. You're going to see punch in and out, check in, add hours, time card summary, schedule, PTO, and today's punch map. So to punch in, I would simply just click this panel and I'm able to punch out. You'll notice that it says ready to punch down here, it gives an IP address. Um, it's telling me that it's unable to obtain my GPS location. That's okay, it doesn't appear that I have any restrictions on, so I'm gonna go ahead and punch out. I am gonna get a punch out success screen, and then it resets. If my employer did turn on check-in, I might have the option to check in. It's gonna work similar. It's gonna say my name, I'm able to check in. I'll get the same kind of success screen. If I have manual time entry and adjustment capabilities, I might be able to add my hours in. So it's going to just have my name, the day of work, and I can just add in an amount of hours that I've worked. Optionally leave a note. And then I can just save that. Next I have time card summary, so this is where I would go to view my time cards. You can see a time card listed here. If I click this little over arrow, I can see my details for the days. And since I have manual time entry and adjustment on, I'm able to click this plus button and I can actually add in time cards. So I could add a punch, I could add hours, and I'll just hit this back arrow and that's going to bring me back to my main screen. If my employer did schedule me for something, I can click schedule and I'm able to select my schedule dates if there's more published and I can see what days I'm supposed to work and I can also see any notes or locations listed below. Next I have my PTO icon and in here I'm able to just see my name and I can see the category of PTO that I have available. And when I click over I can see requests. I don't have any currently. If I wanted to make a request, down here at the bottom I have a request icon. I have a pending status so I could check on my pending requests. And then I can also check my approved or my denied requests down here at the bottom. I can also hit this add up here and that's going to allow me to just create a request. Then down below I have today's punch map. If I click this, this is going to show me my location. And that concludes the employee punch site on a mobile app. Thank you.